It's a risk. It's a risk you gotta take, yeah. Has anyone ever reached back out and tried to escape or No, not yet. There's there's stuff in there pretty tight. Oh sh where did you what the you see that man in the corner? No. He's just creeping on us. How you doing, Mr. Wu? <clears throat> well, I am surviving. But I want to get out of here. Yeah, We're yeah, still waiting join for the club. And... What happened to your fucking shoes? They took them. They took your shoes? Yes. That's uh, not just, good. Just be thankful they haven't taken his hair yet. They took all his and his beard. No way. All of them? <laughs> yeah, it looks Fuck. like a grape. Like a whole, the whole entire grape. That's fucked up. Why did they take your shoes? What did you do? I'm not sure what I did. Were you hitting people with your shoes? I was not. I spent most of my time in my cell. Did you try eating your shoes? No. Did you try using your shoes as an extra cup to save water? No. Were you frantically and crazily claiming that your shoes tried to eat you? I've never claimed this. Did Why did they take shoes your fucking shoes? Offend the guards in any way. I'm not sure. Did your shoes smell? Oh yeah, that's yes. it. That's that's gotta be it. That's yeah, gotta yeah, be it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, right, yeah. We figured it out. You see, here we go. There they are. Wait, now, there. now your eyebrows are missing. No, they aren't. They are. Not f nope, nope. They're, they're uh, right there. Nah, I'm just, I'm just fucking with it. Fuck. <sighs> Wood, did you, uh, did you already do? Did you do your um, your bathroom, your bathroom cleaning duty already? No. No? Okay. Well, they put us on rotations. I had bathroom cleaning duty yesterday, and um, <laughs> it was a shitty experience. <laughs> uh, <that's disgusting. laughs> How can we get out of here? We're going to wait for the law, the marshals to come sentence us, and then when they sentence us, we're going to wait for our time to, to take Damn, away. Damn, Dante the, the Vicenzo is signing with the Warriors? That's actually a good pickup. It could be some time still. Yeah. Yeah. The good see. thing is, though, well, you know, while we're waiting, you know, this is time served. You know what I mean? We That's hope. True. We hope. All right, well, listen. And, and, and society, actually, hey, society, li listen. We're being sized up right now. Yeah. When did you get glasses? I didn't fucking get glasses. Oh, oh, shit. Hey. Okay. Are you looking at Wu? <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, Mr. Hair. Wu. <laughs> oh, you got a haircut, huh? No, oh, my hair grew, you fucking dumbass. Man, that was a while ago. Listen to me, listen to me. I had a different well, hairstyle. Now you know you're not used to rocking, you know, you were rocking the same grew, barber man. style and all that, all right? We're being sized up. There's more important things right now, society. Look, we're being sized up. There's a predator in this prison. She's looking at it, she's picking which one she wants to get first. Which one's gonna be the tastiest? Which one's got the longest fin fingers? Oh. That came up oh. a little wrong. Hold oh. up. Wait, yeah. hold up. What? Uh, hold up. All right, let's skip the finger one. Which one's got the which one's got the cushy, cushy, most cushiony cheeks? That the biggest nose. Wrong. I'm sorry, Sonny. You're out. Wait, which, which, which one's got the big, the heavier meat? <clears throat> anyway, she's been up there watching us. You see her up there? That's her. This is, she's a, she's she's she a man eater. Person eater. A cannibal. Beth the cannibal. See, it doesn't it doesn't have a ring to it. It doesn't you know, it doesn't strike fear into your heart. She needs to change her name. Shit. Yep. Watch out. Don't let us sneak into your cell. Wait, we maybe that's why Wu's been missing. What have you been up to, Mr. Wu? I've been reading and sleeping. You've been you've been getting to know to Beth, getting to know Beth on a personal level, huh? Huh? What's her middle name? You know it, don't you? I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, that's a good act. I like it. Susanna, they took his shoes. Well, can you believe this shit? 
lock him in here, take away his freedom, and take his shoes. That's incredible. Not the fucking shoes. Look at him all goddamn muddy. <laughs> Is that mud? What are you gonna do, Shani, huh? I gonna go hustle shit. right now. Oh, it's that shit? shit what? That, that shit? <gasps> I think so, yes. Winchester, give a sniff. Is that shit? Oh, let me check. <laughs> I hate that you actually that's did shit. that. Yeah, that's shit. That's absolutely shit, though. <laughs> that is shit shit. Damn. <laughs> well, listen, you, 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 you could with just... Uh, that... Uh, I've never smelled... That's not human. I don't know what... Wait, that... Is that, can, is that cannibal shit? Woo? Is that cannibal shit? Huh? How am I supposed to know that? You tell me. You tell me, Mr. Wu. <laughs> <laughs> I think, so, uh, I think Winchester's going fucking crazy. Yeah, go ahead. But I think yes. When do we think we'll get out of here? Uh, it's really hard to say. Yeah, it's kind of difficult. No way. Always still got to get back tomorrow. to us. Look, the answer is always tomorrow. Okay, listen. If you think after tomorrow, or in a year, or in two years, then you're Don't gonna go fucking robots. Okay, so hey, hey. No. yeah, yeah. Hey, yo. What's wrong with hey. you, hey. you focus, motherfucker. Hey. You focus. Right. You understand me? <laughs> you fucking focus. Okay. Huh? All right. <laughs> that was my favorite hat. Now it's in wool shit. <laughs> I don't think it's wool shit. I mean, how would you shit in your own feet like that? <laughs> Give me my fucking hat, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna have to try again. Look. Hey, well, uh. The answer's always tomorrow, okay? We'll be out of here tomorrow. Just tomorrow. Just one more day. We'll, that's all we gotta do. One more day. One tomorrow, day what to time? Um. Tomorrow, end of day. Okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> hey. Uh, that might be incorrect, Shani. It's probably uh, in a couple of tomorrows. <laughs> yeah? Don't oh, fucking see that. It's been a couple of tomorrows, though. Who we'll see that? You a hope it's tomorrow. Why don't we take a stroll? Let's go walk, huh? Let's go walk a little bit and let's go, you know, let's let's get out of this fucking it's, place. It smells. You let's get it. Wu to wash it's his always, feet. It's always tomorrow, or else Mr. Wu here tomorrow is going to be smearing that shit on his feet and his fucking core bread for extra flavor. <laughs> Mine on. Yeah, why don't we take a walk? So let's take a walk. Some fresh air. Come on. Let's go. Let's go wash Wu's feet, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's, wash, feet. let's wash some feet. Let's right, wash some right. feet. The speed limit around here is about fifty. All right. Just make sure because the guards are gonna shoot you if you're walking too fucking fast. <laughs> sure. Guys, the hair definitely looks like it's grown out, right? I heard the other day that uh, Cell Block A uh, got assigned shower duty. Oh, no. Wait, wait. What the fuck does that mean? What shower duty? <laughs> it means that they had to go into the showers and scrub the fucking showers while people were taking a shower in there. I mean, it's not that bad. Best not drop your fucking soap. <clears throat> yeah, because yeah. the mm. soap gets dirty. Because <clears throat> mm -hmm. then somebody will pick it up and throw it away. Mm -hmm. I heard they're going to be assigning cell block B uh, toilet duty. No, 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 no. Can I just swim out of here? That's us. You guys prepared to scrub toilets? Well, Wu's already got his feet and shit, so... Let's wash his feet. Come on, Mr. Wool, over it. here. Over here. Oh, Olivia's drink. Okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> Drinking the shit water, man. 
Whatever don't kill you, huh? <laughs> May as well take a little, a little, a little, a little of this back home. I mean, to the cell block. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, it's funny how the whole squad came on at the same time. Winchester, Olivia, obviously the brothers. Okay. Hey, we hey. gotta, we gotta get your ass down from there. What? I don't know if we should um, we should go talk somewhere in a little, a little more secluded. I got just a spot. I know my ways in and outs of uh, Sisica Penitentiary. Got the meeting spot locked down. Come on, it's over here. Okay. All right, we're here. What are you gonna talk about? <laughs> I got a couple of telegrams. You want to go somewhere else for this? I got another spot. <laughs> um, yeah, let's try the other spot. Okay, yeah, no problem. You should have said something. Jesus. <laughs> it's not here. Come on. I hate jail, man. Mr. Um, Mr. Jan, Mr. Jang Wei of the Taipan was around yesterday. Otherwise known as John Wayne, as we call him. He um he got into a little brawl with uh with Oli, Oli Toscano. Yeah. One of the guards came up to us and um saw the brawl and told us that uh well they had to shave their head. Oli now looks like uh like my left nut. <laughs> Do you shave your left nut? <laughs> the fuck does your left nut look like? I didn't expect the follow-up question, so I'm just gonna keep it at that. You understand? No, now you gotta show us because now, how, oh. now we got no point of reference. Oh, I love, I love when he does that chat. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yep. Toilet cleaning. How you doing, officers? Mm -hmm. We're gonna go get some potatoes for the kitchen. We'll be back. All right. Take it easy. Anyway, Jang Wei also got his fucking head shaved, and he's looking like my right nut. <laughs> I have to show you, show us both your nuts now. I ain't showing you shit, sonny, eh? Hey, doing officer, you're doing a great job, you're doing a great job, motherfucker. Still didn't answer. <laughs> I'm gonna take the road here on the left, all right? Yeah, it's more like a path, not a road. It don't lead nowhere. It leads back take to cell block B. I'm gonna yeah. smack the shit out of you when we're out of sight. All roads lead back shot? to Sisica. Huh? What was it said to watch Toronto for KD? No shot. That would be fucking insane. Come on, over here in the train line. Come on. Well, you lied. I don't see a woe tweet, you fucking assholes. Stop doing this to me, man. I heard people in cell block D are, uh, are, uh, oh, you know, set on ESPN. That, that mining company that's, uh, you know, here in Sisica. I, I want to give Scott for KD personally. Today. The, um, one of them inmates told me that, uh, they're looking to continue digging, see if they can get a tunnel going from, uh, from here to, uh, to the mainland. I was yeah. wondering why they had that poster up on the wall. It makes so much sense now. That's right. Did they, did they conveniently forget we're on a fucking island? Yeah, we're probably. I just didn't mention it to them. <laughs> All right, should be good here. We're in the clear. All right, guard tower over there. That's uh, Billy James. Gave him $5 this morning and a cornbread with some jam. He's got us covered. There he is over there. What's his name? 
I Billy would trade James. Siakam, OG. You gave him five dollars. You want to know his fucking Freddy last name? Where his sister's bro. name is too, Sonny? Come on, let's get this over with. Jesus Christ. Uh, we couldn't trade Freddy, low key. What are we? Uh, what are we talking about? All right, let's talk about what happened. All right, it's important. We got to go over what's going on. Got to, you know, be on the same page here. Okay. I'm thinking. I've been thinking. We had a conversation yesterday, Ollie, uh, Winchester, fucking Olivia over here, thinking about how we're going to potentially retaliate, yeah? If there's any retaliation, my opinion is the fucking law team showed up right at our door. We, had, we hadn't even gone back to the city, and we booked it. We went in a straight fucking line. They were already there by the time we got there, yeah? That means they fucking ratted immediately. Alfonso came in yesterday too, by the way. Bonucci, the fat one. What? Mm -hmm. They were sentencing him too. Not for the things that happened yesterday or the other the other day. They sentenced him. They sentenced him for the uh, for the initial hit, the initial thing that uh, caused everything to you know to spark off. Thousand dollars. Now, five hundred of those dollars were because of stolen property. Ollie tells me they only took a Schofield. They didn't take nothing else, which is about what? $200, right? So that's what you guys said, $200? Mm -hmm. They charged them $500. Ollie said that she may have uh, said that uh, uh, they, they took maybe something else, something additional, maybe like a bolt action or something. I don't know. I forget what he said. That means that they're putting lies in the law's ears, making us fucking get charged for more money. Yeah? Some more, some more fucking dough. And more time in prison because it's a robbery above five hundred dollars or something like that. Shit. So these fucks, they're going to war with us, right? These motherfuckers, they're 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 fighting back, whatever. They're they're, they're putting bullets in Tony Salerno. And then when we go out there and we fucking clap their asses, <clears throat> not okay, not in that way, you know. I mean, clap their asses like in a you know um, in, a, in a clap anyway, you know. Um, uh, Mr. Wu, what's the word over here that I'm trying to use? <laughs> I'm not sure. He's not sure, you see? Yeah, I even got him fucking confused. Anyways, we gave him a hard time. Let's just say that. We beat their ass. Fucking wording, man. Um, all right, we, we shot him down, yeah? Mm -hmm. They took a beating so fucking hard. Hmm? Biggest fucking beating they're ever going to take. And then they go to the law. They protect themselves with the law. They can't even finish what they fucking, what they fucking started. All I'm saying here, Sonny, is maybe we shouldn't be as proactive as we were thinking. Maybe we should uh, just uh, play the defense. If they want to come over to our turf, we'll fuck them up. Yeah. Ollie was putting an idea up front, and Olivia too. Maybe disguises would have been. Uh, maybe it's a good idea. Going for, going into full black, you know, mass and everything. Sending a message, maybe, but they're still gonna write at the end of the day. Maybe yeah, that's it's not true, important. man. Maybe we shouldn't even dedicate the, the, a time of the day for them. It's not worth it. Just continue doing our business, eh? I can't. Yeah, yeah, I can't ever agree with that. To be honest, yeah, it's not worth our time. Mm. What if they keep giving us problems, though? Hey, when we play defense, they want to come to us and look for the smoke. We'll give them the fucking smoke. All right. What do you guys think? Huh? Well, we got fucking clipped. Sure. I think if his word is enough to put us here, well, just my opinion, I do not think it's wise for you or Sonny to be involved. I will come back here as many times as needed. I'm sure others would as well. That's so maybe next thing. time Absolutely. He, yeah. they try to do something, we go and take care of it for you. That way, you do not end up here, but the message is sent. The problem with that, though, is the brothers have always been charged with giving the orders as well. So they're not going to clean no matter what. Well, I was not aware of that. I am not sure what to do then. 
Now, it's not always the case. For example, mm-hmm. the whole thing with Kitty, that didn't bite us in the ass. I think uh, Alfonso and the other boys that were involved, they got hit with it harder. I think at the very least, it might be a good idea, like Wu was saying, us staying away from these types of things. We brought it to the house, Sonny. That was a mistake. We brought it right back to the house. We've been yeah. telling these guys not to bring shit to the house. We do that very, th- that, that very fucking thing that we swore by. Not good. That was our mistake. Ain't going to happen again. You see? Even we're making mistakes here. Everybody learns. I, I should have been more persuasive when I, uh, when I saw you out there. What do you mean? I, I rode out and I, I bumped into you and I said we were wanted. I, I, I shouldn't let you guys go back. Yeah. Maybe that would have been good. All the same, we would have been charged at the end of the day. I think at the very least, maybe one of us should go, Sonny. That way they lock either you or me up and we can have one, you know, the other brother outside. Right now the family might be going through a hard, you know, hard time. Scott Body's been telling me that uh, a couple of things have happened. Groups are sizing up to us. Not good. Yeah, yeah, I got some news on that front too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, well, fucking talk. Oh, we can wait, uh, unless you're done already. Well, I was uh, planning on talking about the other uh, alternatives, right? Wu says brothers shouldn't go. I agree with him. As much as I'd love to get my hands fucking dirty, might not be the wisest thing. I got another question for the three years, four years. What do you think about disguises? Well, I think disguises are good, but to clarify, well, I'm not sure the extended history of these people, but I'm going to assume they are small fish in a big pond. So, maybe for things like that, we take care of it for you. I understand, yeah. I already gave my uh, my opinion about disguises. I don't see much use about sending a message if they don't know who it's from. That's a good point. I mean, from what I got from Aurora, they came and, and, and scoped out the you know, Twin Rocks because of the bodies we dumped in McFarland's ranch. So maybe next time we stay masked up while we're dumping the bodies and probably dump them in a bit of more, you know, secure location where people aren't, maybe like far away from where we're conducting the business still. Because McFarland's ranch isn't too far from, from Twin Rocks, you know? Hmm. These are all good suggestions. The thing is, sometimes you want them to know it's you to send a message, right? Okay. Next time we'll stay out of it. We'll let the others get their hands dirty. We have family funds to cover the fines. All the fines that you guys just got, we're covering them. The only issue here is the time. See, I, I, that's the thing. Why do you guys deserve to go to prison? Huh? And and not me, you know? That's that's what troubles me. I understand. You know, there's there's a, an important factor in, in me and my brother being out there in the city right now. But at the end of the day, we're all fucking soldiers here. We're just the ones in charge. Well, if I'm being honest... I do believe an empire needs pawns willing to do what the leaders cannot. So they can keep doing what is most important. And on top of that, it's always been when you two brothers are in here, the people get the most brave. Yes, there is nobody manning the ship, Mm -hmm. sitting on the throne. 
people get eager in moments like this, and that is my fear. Yeah, that's a good point, Cesare. Hey, how about this? Instead of instead of it just being blanket, you and I just don't go. How about we make it at least one of us always stays? That or you both go and watch from afar. Could be an option too. At the end of the day, we, we, we all know. <laughs> we all know what you know. We all know what we signed up for. We all want to do things for the better of the family, and if that means I have to do another five hundred and forty days for the family, I'll happily do it. Agreed. Yes. There's no pawns in this family. You understand? I get the message, and you're right. But we're all, we're all fucking brothers and sisters. I, mean, I mean, yeah, of course, right? We live together, and we'll fucking die together. No pawns. We just, we just have to strategically plan these things and be smart about it. Yes. But I agree. I agree. My only fear here is... Well, it is obvious that the lawmen would like to see both of you rotten here or be dead. So I do believe any opportunity they, that comes across them to put you in here, they will take. Even if it means believing the word of a man who is lying. And that is a dangerous power to have. Hmm. So. I think we need to come up with some sort of way where, well, these people cannot talk, but I do not know if that is possible unless they die. This is up to the gods, not me. Or any of us. Yeah. I think it's it's going to be something we're going to have to live with and we need to make the decision if we're going to, you know, retaliate. I'm all for it. I'll retaliate. I'll take the time. I'm I'm fine with that. But in the same sense, if you if you don't want the family to keep doing time and, you know, cuz quite clearly they're just going to keep riding. That's never going to change. That no matter we could walk the street without looking both ways in front of these people and they and they, you know, they report it to the law. They're always going to be there. They're always going to round us. And we need to decide whether we're going to let that get to us and we're going to leave off or we're going to show them that we don't care how many times you rap. We don't care that you, uh, you know, you have your little friends in the in the law. We're going to keep coming for you and we're not going to leave you alone until you make the wise decision to back off and enjoy the rest of your life and think yourself lucky that we left you breathing. What a family we got, Sonny. <coughs> what a fucking family we got. Bunch of wise guys over here. Bunch of wise guys thanks. over here. And gals. Right. Thank you. I appreciate the inclusion. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> no problem, sweet aunt. No problem. Sweet aunt. Sonny, yeah. What's the course of action? Well, I mean, let's take this one step at a time. So, who do we got out there? We got, we got Scarpo, uh, Scarpo in charge, right? Scarpo's in charge. We got um, Colleone, the Iron Fist, right now. Hold up. The fuck is that? 
The Iron Fist is broken down because Bonucci's uh, here with us and uh, uh, Toscano's here with us too. Yeah. So we got Dominic. We got Coleon. We got Sissy, Sissy Valentino. We got Pauly, who might be getting locked up pretty soon, actually. What? For what? Oh, yeah. Huh. Pretty sure that's what Sonny's probably about to say, right? Uh, no. No, actually. Huh. Mara. <laughs> Get this. Apparently, it was, uh, there was an attempt on his life. I think it was yesterday or today. Damn. Who? What? Mikey didn't specify. It was a broad, though. Said that uh, she tried to get the jump on him. But he slapped her, whacked her, put her on the fucking ground, taught her a lesson. Something along those lines. He just said that, she, bro. Oh, sorry. Apparently she got up. Or whatever. And he, she started laying hands on him. And from what I recall, the telegram, he put it down. I don't know. That fucking bitch. Told her to get the fuck out of town. So, they're still active, Sonny. They're still hitting the city. They're still hitting us. Damn. It's a tough, uh, it's a tough call. Also, bear in mind, anything you get through telegrams in here, especially anything you send out, it's probably going to be read by the law. That's what I told them. To keep the details out of the telegram. It is what it is. Well, at least... Pearly's probably going to get locked up in self-defense. All the same. He's yeah. probably going to get locked up. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was saying, like, if the law reads that telegram, then maybe it's uh, evidence for self-defense. I don't fucking know. But whatever. That's if they decide to take it as self-defense. They could read it, toss it in the fucking bin, as long That's as we're right. in here. I don't know. Them even looking at telegrams seems like too much work for them to do. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> Now, look, before before we make any sort of decision, we need to we need to reach out to Scott Bow and insist that we play the play the defense at the moment. That's what I did. Okay, defense is is is, uh, is up and running. They're not going to be uh, taking any action until further notice. <clears throat> All I need to send is one telegram with old country, and we'll set this fucking west on fire. I think that's not a decision we can make lightly. We have to think on that one. I can't, I can't say anything here and now. It's just not any time to think. So then, question to all of you here. Do you find it wise to continue the war from the inside or wait until we're out, make a conscious decision where we have more visibility on a battlefield? Well, I believe it's best to be defensive until you are out. You might not realize or accept this, but both of you in here is not good, in my opinion. We need your leadership, and I do not think anyone else is fit to do that from the outside.
I'm, I'm going to have to agree with, with the word on this. I, I think while there's so many of us in here, it's it's not wise for us to, to ride against them. The boroughs are already short on numbers. The house hasn't got any of its leaders there. You know, Scapo's going to do the best he can, but without the manpower, how, you know, how much can he really do? He's, he's best off playing defensive, keeping the house safe, doing what he can, where he can, and just kind of sitting and waiting for us to get free. And if once our numbers are back up to 100%, we'd make the decision that, you know, they need to, they need to pay for what they did, then we can make that happen. Yes, I agree. I don't think numbers is a problem. The problem is they're just going to land in here and then we're going to dwindle even further. Right. And I agree with you. It's just a hard call to make if they're out there already skulking the fucking streets and trying to hit our men. Well, that is why I believe we stay defensive with the goal in mind to keep St. Denis under control. Mm -hmm. And not spread too thin. I agree. They got numbers out there. They got solid people. We got solid people out there. So, Zada, like you said, hell of a family we got. They'll keep the fucking, they'll keep the city in check. You hearing that whistle? Or was that just me? Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing it. I'm hearing the whistle. Looks like we're being called. Come on. No. I gotta go, chat. Okay. Defensive it is. Defensive it is. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. I think it's Big L. I oh, think man. I'm going to rest here by this tree. Uh, Everybody get down! Everybody get down! Are they coming out here? Fuck, I'm about, I gotta go, dude. Oh, fuck. Stupid fucking moron for these people. Oh, fuck. How do you, how do you, how do you lay down? How do you lay it's down? Too late for me. Fuck. What the, the hell do you down. think we're fucking stupid? What are you fucking meerkats peering your damn head out of the goddamn <laughs> grass? Get the hell up on your feet. Oh, hey, boys. Hey, boys. Oh. I was just uh, digging for, for uh, earthworms. <laughs> hey, we yeah, got some yeah. tomatoes over here. Some some potatoes over here. I don't hey, give we a will... shit about your tomatoes. We are the number one exporter of potatoes and potato products alone. And Damn, I'm sad I'm going to miss this shot, but I have to now go. I got to get ready for this push. fucking party. Um... Seems we have a few prisoners here, Enrique, who haven't followed our policies and procedures. Now, have they? <laughs> I mean, as I said, I was trying to be nice, but uh, I guess niceties are completely out the window now. I guess so. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We was, we was out here. We was out here cutting the grass, strolling. A couple of the guys over there told us that there's some potatoes. It's hiding in some of the ground over there. All right, and uh, you know we, we we came over here to inspect and uh, to to bring them back to the kitchen. All right, so we were just cutting the grass a little bit. Ain't that right, huh? guys? Girls? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Well, then you just fell for the worst trick in the book. Potatoes don't grow in bushes, moron. They grow in the field. Now let's go. We're going to Enrique's. Shit. 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 Fuck. Fuck. Enrique, I was so good yesterday. What the fuck? Well, I, I, I'm still a little confused on, on, on what we did. Are we not yeah, allowed to be Why in the field? Oh my God. Or... Oh my God. Listen, we it have... took me like 15 years to grow my hair. Please don't make me cut my hair. Well, we have policies and procedures. And since Big Al has put down his foot, <laughs> the foot put is put down. What, though, is what, what policy or procedure did we break? Policy and procedure of being in Sisica and not having hair. I feel like I've been misled. Shit. Shit. What is this? Do you think you can dramatically walk on my time? Don't you understand that I have a heart checkup with the doctor in 15 minutes, so we better get our fucking step on. Let's go. <laughs> Do I walk faster? Uh, we said that means, uh, we gotta walk faster, guys. Look, uh, Mr. Mr. Big Big L, sir. <laughs> Look, I'm um, I got some extra cornbread. I didn't I didn't eat mine for lunch. Uh, listen, I'm about to pass you that extra cornbread you need. <laughs> well, if I hear one more squeal out of any of y'all, 
You're going to be cleaning the upside of the walls. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, no yes, problem. Sir. No problem. Enrique, what are you doing back there? I was enjoying the fields. Stop enjoying the fields. Yes, sir. Thank you. This guy's an asshole. Which one do you want to save first? Uh, let's see who would be the most heartbroken first. Probably the blonde one. Oh. oh shit. Olivia. Aren't you going to oh. tell Mr. Blue Coat that he is violating prison policy and procedure by trying to impersonate a guard? Oh, yeah. No, oh, Cesare, he's getting you next. Shit. Fuck. Take the coat off, take the coat, dump the coat, dump the coat. Oh, hey, hey, you want those two cornbreads I offered you the other day? No, <laughs> uh, you got the blue coat on. That's a bit of an issue. I was going, why? Uh, one of your friend guards gave it to me. What's, what's, what's going on? Yeah, and, uh, you know, that's kind of, uh, you're not supposed to wear that. So, uh, you go first. Oh, uh, what do you want me to do? I don't want to shave my fucking head. The lovely barber shop. Olivia, I don't know if I'll, I can look at you the same. I, I, I just Officer, listen. Um, I don't. I actually have an appointment scheduled right now with the doctor. See, I got a little bit of a bladder problem, and I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go. You know, um, I would just I mean, say that's uh, great get because my... the uh, barber chair doubles as a toilet, so totally you could pee in it. I don't really don't care. <laughs> what you don't understand is Enrique is the local barber and the local doctor, so don't worry. He'll make sure your tummy feels well as sure as your face. Now uh, let's go. Cesare. Lucky for you all, today is a clearance sale. Everything must go. I just go first. Fucking unicorn was a bad idea. Did you know? Ah, uh, you wait, you wait. Cesare Listen. goes first. There you go, Cesare. Gentlemen. <laughs> In there, impersonator. Go on. I've been, I've scrubbed the toilets 25 times a day and I fucking picked the potatoes and the tomatoes in the field and all the cotton and all that. You sure? Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm top of the list over here. You know, best performing fucking prisoner. That's right. You are top of the list. That's why you're first in line. I get the fuck in there. Fuck, 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 fuck. Enrique will be in there to ensure that everything is taken care of. Now, as for you, <laughs> let's see. Hmm. We, yeah, we don't give a fuck about his hair at all. Yes, I think you might be the lanky middle to the left toe. Oh, come on. Let me go next week so I can might move. be the stubby, hairy thumb that sits off the right side of somebody's bunion. Mm, you? Well, <laughs> yeah, you cute as a button. You might as well be the pinky toe. And okay. you? You won't take it when you're bald. Well, shit, you just look like a middle finger standing up straight, don't you? Laugh <laughs> 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 well, at it, it's, it's funny. It's a good one, Big Al. What did you say? Mesa, nothing. I said nothing. Guys, I really need to go. I don't know what to do here. It was, it was a good joke. It was a good joke. I heard you trail off your laugh with a sigh at the end that sounded like you were a little disappointed. Uh, yeah, somebody turned his head, head and I thought his nose was going to poke me in the eye and it scared, it scared me, you know? You want to tell me the truth? No, uh, uh, it, it wasn't funny. Thank you for your honesty. 60 more days. Once we get you all processed, we will then follow the procedure. Excuse me, Mr. Big Al, that man looks like he's got a hell of a lot of, uh... Perfection! Uh... 
number one out of six. Hey, you! Get the hell back here. Where do you think you're going? Oh, sorry. Sorry. No. Sorry, look what they did to me. No. <laughs> he looks like a thumb. He looks like a thumb. Yeah, fuck you. Else. You look like my second head. Care about our policies and procedures either. Now, next That's person good. to go in. Uh, oh, I won't go in there. Get in line and go. There you go. We have volunteer. The only brave soul among you weaklings. Well, hello, sir. Welcome to my lovely barber shop, where mm -hmm. I'm going to take every single hair follicle you got left on you. So first comes off the hair, <sighs> all the way down to the stubbly stubbles. Beautiful. Oh, we're getting all the way down to the skin. All right, and then that little bit of hair that you have on your on your fizzy face has to go as well. Let's see, eyebrows. I mean, you know. We don't really got that many eyebrows. We're just going to pluck the few hairs that we have on there. And you know what? Perfect. Wonderful. I feel like you could read my mind already. Beautiful. Gorgeous, even. Am I good? I think you're all done here, and you look absolutely lovely. Those beautiful blue eyes are just coming out, and I swear, I'd, I didn't see them before, but now I do. And let me tell you, those peepers are some peepee peeps. <laughs> hey, where are you going, prisoner? Oh, shit. Go take a McDonald's. Oh, fuck. Holy fuck his head. Yo, what's the kind of sexy though, bro? Oh, they got the straight razor on him. Oh, fuck. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> who's look kind of sexy, to be honest? Hey, um. No, no, no. You go, you fucking get it. I need five cents. No, just no, five. What? Just five cents. Uh, Damn, son, are you coming for the tag or no? What the fuck? I need to get out of here. Okay. It's okay, Will. It all goes back. Oh, free haircut? I do not care. <laughs> oh, God. His nose is gonna look even it's my bigger. Out of here. <laughs> well, Add it, I kind of just want to go talk to him, but Wu wouldn't really do oh, that. Good. What the fuck yeah. happened to your hair? <laughs> I didn't know you meant that rope. <laughs> you fucking idiot. You're bold. Can we just bold. dip? <laughs> Maybe? I thought you meant like you would rope me up and then hey. shake me yourself. I didn't, I didn't know you meant the gallop rope. But he's not saying anything. Me out. Don't sell me out. Don't sell me out. He's out there, isn't he? That's big L. Get outside now. <laughs> yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> I need to go to sleep, dude. I'm Prisoner, really quit walking away or you <laughs> will get the yeah, I need to go buy Get some new line. pants. Because I literally have, I wear the same three pants every day. I'm trying to look nice tonight. You know what I'm saying? And the store's gonna close this. You go hide in the bush. Why is the fucking bush? The, haircut. <laughs> the most wonderful haircut presented to you by the most wonderful man, Enrique himself. Now get the fuck in there. Thank you. Oh, please don't tell me I'm going to look like that. Probably worse. Fail, fail. Why the fuck did I wake up? Hey, don't give my position away. No, you, you, you're, let them know I'm here. You're going to this with me, motherfucker. You're going to I, I'm already bald. Oh, the hair? Okay. No! Where? Doors are not closing until midnight in LA, bro. What the I, fuck are you say saying? Okay. Now go in. Thank you. Don't look at me. Don't look. He made me take oh. the eyebrows off. No, no. <laughs> he took my eyebrows. Oh my no. god, <laughs> man. <laughs> Took my eyebrows. You fucking look nasty. Holy shit. Uh, now you look like my left nut. Jesus Christ. Speak for yourself. Hey. You look like Sonny's left nut, you know, brothers hey. and stuff. Oh, you sure lost Sonny's left nut, huh? He hasn't seen nothing. He hasn't seen nothing. Hasn't seen nothing. Yeah, so. Everybody, everybody saw Cesaris in the chest yeah. today. He had a big hole in his pants. Wonder where he got that. <laughs> oh. Fucking hair. What? Shit, they're gonna shave Olivia's hair. Oh fuck. Now you are going in there or you are getting the rope. 
<laughs> Whatever deal you strike with Enrique is your own, but uh, I'd warn you, he ain't the gambling type, so uh, you might just be fucked either way. <laughs> just <laughs> over here. Oh shit! The boxes over here. What? Which one else? Come over here. Tension over here, you understand me? You're gonna keep him away from I the fucking hell. I thought the ten skirmishes in China, but this The next they person to walk out of line God. is getting the gun upside their head. Get back over here now. No more God damn, look outside. at the ears on this guy. Jesus Christ. I need to go! Oh, shit. You. Go fly away, sir. <laughs> oh, look at that so face. Shit, what the fuck? Me? It's wonderful, isn't it? Do, do people hold you up as an award oh, or, or it what? The big fat piece of cheese. Now get the fucking line. Yeah, I used to wear. Oh, they got him! They got him! Listen, listen. All he right. ain't getting my hair. Okay, this is fucking glorious. See, he could be big fucking out, but he ain't beating big out. Okay, he ain't doing it. He hasn't seen me get yet, the right? Fuck in line. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit's right. Walk over there now. I want to fucking lose the hate. <laughs> no. oh, Go. <laughs> what is that? Oh. Oh, Fiddle. Don't look at me in my weakest hour. <laughs> I'm bald as a dude next to me. Thing Whatever, like bro. My symphony of fingers and toes is almost complete. <laughs> we have to get the big fat toe here and there, squeeze him through the big door toe, once the pinky toe comes on her way out. Okay, listen. We, we eat pinky One toes grain. around here, be careful. One grain. We got a full fucking foot here. To get the hay. No. We already tried bribing him out. Oh, come on. Okay. Two grain. Yeah, bribing doesn't Policy. work. see. And procedure. <laughs> Get the fuck in there. Oh, I think there's already somebody in there. Maybe, maybe if you have alligator magazine. Shit, I have a cold. <laughs> I can't go in. Say that again. I, I, oh, I, shit. I have a cold. <laughs> and them? Oh, shit. Oh, Olivia. No. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh no. Lord. Oh, no. Olivia. It's still there. He let me keep no. the hair under this. I just had to shave my eyebrows. Son of a bitch. Or at least we got the damn eyebrows. Now get the hell in there. <laughs> Al, get in there. I need to go. He's too soft. Look at him saying that. Now, after he has finished getting his plump skull saved, <laughs> we're gonna go line up on the wall and get y'all inducted. I'm sure some. Oh you know my you God! But we're so fucked. Forgotten your number. No, no, wait. Excuse me. I was never given my number. I was, I was never told. To I was getting shot. That sounds like personal problems to me. <laughs> oh, they don't oh, affect shit. me at all. You better remember. How can I remember something that wasn't ever told to me? I don't know. Maybe um, develop some kind of a mental condition or tumor in your brain that lets you read other people's thoughts. Start there. That seems oddly specific and very strange. I don't know what you're alluding to. It's yeah, really scary to go through, too. Now I we have to was hurry this home. up. I only have about ten minutes left before my boat leaves for Saint Denis. Oh, Bro, I need to go right, right now. I'm so fucked. In this prison, these guards will be sure to shoot you. <laughs> yeah, they're great guys. But they are. Well, this one in there is sure taking his time, isn't he? Probably chatting up Enrique, trying to get yeah. out. Some people are just hairier than others. Hey, over here. Over here. 
Over here, we have a little team huddle before. Over here. All right, all right, listen. Some of you might have fucking duties in cell block B or D. Hey, you should probably tell the guy that you gotta go or cell block D or B or whatever. All right, if not, we're up for a fucking long night over here. All right, they're gonna make us fucking scrub the walls with our faces and shit. All right. Toilet duty. Say you got toilet duty. You got a fucking toilet duty. <laughs> Fuck it, I was gonna do it, bro. All right. I just you feel bad. <clears throat> How about oh, this me. one right here? Pick me. Excuse me. Oh, wait. wait, I have I... 30 days to the sentence? I need to go clean the toilets. I already got 60 more, so enjoy it. Let's me sink. I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> there you go. I need to go clean the toilets. Oh! Walk with me, talk with me. They, they Every other prisoner, prisoner stay oh, here. God, it's <laughs> oh, fucking no. pride. I feel so bad, dude. Tony's about to come fucking rage at me, dude, for not leaving right now. Come on, oh speed it up there. Let's go. Walk slower than me. <laughs> no. This is the honor, yeah, and his RP is incredible, man. I knew I shouldn't have logged in for only an hour, Chad. This is your fault. Now let me get this straight. You are volunteering to clean the shitter. Yes. You would volunteer your body to the well of souls over there. Yes, I do not mind. <laughs> well, that's just that's just fucking fantastic. Get over there and get your head in the shitter. <laughs> you don't drown. Thank you. But now the big Al is here. here if you do start drowning, at least let out a gurgle or something so one of the guards knows. Yes. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad, man. Chat, now you guys know when you're like, yo, just play RP for an hour. You can't because you don't know the kind of shit that's going to go on. In reality, I probably should have never logged in knowing that I was going to dip soon. But uh, chat, listen, I fucking adore this server, man. We got so much RP, more, I don't even know, so much more RP to come on this server, but uh, me and Tony, uh, we're gonna go to the store real quick. I need to buy some pants. Then I'm gonna get ready for this party. I'm gonna also try to squeeze in some Rust content today uh, on my alt so I can record a little bit before I actually go to the party. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to juggle a lot right now, man. We're gonna host, uh, we're gonna host uh, Cesar. All right, I'm just gonna leave no outro, nothing. Thank you for the subs. I'll see you guys tomorrow, 11 a.m. Pacific. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow, 11 a.m. Pacific. Okay.